the men have to be intentional about what they're looking for. And as women, we have to prepare ourselves to be found. Because mm. a lot of times, especially in the church, Whoa. you know, we, we're, we're, we're godly and we're spiritual beings, but I think we forget to balance that out with us still being human. Yeah. God didn't create us to be robots. And so as women, we have to make sure that we are looking the part to be found. I tell the, some of the sisters that I uh, mentor all the time, the man of God don't want to find you with a bonnet on, sis. <laughs> the man of God don't want to find you looking like you homeless. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Right. The man of God, he's already prayed specifically of what he's looking. So when you leave the house every day, you're not leaving to impress a man, but you want to look your best for you for first. You. Because when you look your best and you feel your best, you operate at your best. Yeah. Hey, I think um, the one of the most fun, interesting facts that we've had to run into is probably how long did we date before we got married? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's kind of a conversation a lot of people want to talk about because they think that they, you know, marriage should be like the premarital phase should be like, I don't know, two, three years, I guess. Right. Or I don't know, five. I know, I know a lot of people have dated five years or more, mm -hmm. still haven't married mm -hmm. or have married after that. So it's a fun fact that we share and we talk about that uh, we've, been, we've dated five months, nine months. Nine months. Nine months, and then we got married. That's crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> it was God, though. It was God, but it was crazy. A lot of people don't realize it. They don't, um, you can't put a number on him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I knew. And every man doesn't have that, you know. I knew, and I prayed to God before I met you. I said, the next relationship that I get, I was just getting out of a relationship with this one uh, young lady from Chicago. And I said, when I get out of this, I said, the next woman you send in my wife, life has to be my wife, God. Mm -hmm. That was the prayer I prayed to God. And mm -hmm. I think that was intentional. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest uh, thing about intentionality, if you want something, you have to be intentional about what you want. Yeah. what you want to see, how you want to feel, mm -hmm. where you want to go. I think that's intentional stuff. And I think that that, that piece I gave, God said, God, the next one has to be my wife. Mm -hmm. And then, hey, the next relationship I was in was with you. Yeah. And we dated like nine months. And folk thought we was crazy. Yeah. Your parents hated me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> no, because I'm they, just thinking they, about them nine months because a lot of people think, that the dating phase have to be long and drawn out. Even the engagement phase has to be long and drawn out. But when you know that you've heard from God, it, it doesn't take God all day. We say that a lot, but do we really, really? believe that? You know, When we met, um, I can honestly say that I believe that it was love at first sight for me. <laughs> it, and I tell you that all the time, because I'm like, it was just such a glow about you when I saw you. And I'm like, <laughs> I had never experienced that with another man before to have that just glow around you. Then I didn't know what the glow was. But um, once we <laughs> once we got, you know, once I got saved for real and dedicated my life to God, I realized then that that glow that I saw, the light that I saw was the light of the Lord, mm. the glory, his glory on you. Mm. And I just think back over those nine months, it, it wasn't about. The, the longevity of how long it was, it was about the quality mm. of time, the time that we spent. Cause like once we started dating, we was together like every day. Yeah, a lot. Like every day. And it didn't take me long to know that you were the one. And I think a lot of times we spin our wheels when it comes to dating, cause we're like serial dating. And right off the bat, we see them red flags. Now, y'all yeah. know we've been seeing red, red flags all over social media lately. People popping up saying, oh, these are red flags. These are red flags. These are red flags. <laughs> Early off in the relationship, y'all see them red flags. <laughs> but I can honestly say I did not see. Well, let me take that back. Uh-uh. What you? <laughs> let me take that back. Let me roll that back. Roll that tape back. I did see one red flag. Okay. And, and we laugh and joke about this red flag okay. all the time. At that time we had went to, and I'm going to tell this short story. Go you probably already it. know where I'm going I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous. At the time we went out, this was, I'm sure it was not our first date. 
It couldn't mm-hmm. have been our first date. Because our first date, you actually invited me to church. Oh, okay. That That's was where our going. first That's date. where you're going. Okay. So I, this is probably second, <laughs> third. You know, we, we, we well into the dating phase at this point. And so I thought, until I saw the red flag. <laughs> so, so we pull up to Wendy's, right? Mm, my, one of my favorites. You know, you got a little four for four. They didn't do four for fours. You had to create it then. Now it's a thing. We made it a thing then, okay. but now it's a thing thing. So we pull up, right? Yeah. We, we order. We get to the window. The lady looks in the car. She giving us a total. You look at me like, you got your, you got your money for your food? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Oh, this is Dutch tonight. Oh, we're going Dutch. I said, you got to be We're Dutching me. tonight. Yes. That was a red flag for me. Ooh, I didn't know it, though. Because, I, I, see, I almost walked out on that. Ooh. Because I'm like, we at Wendy's. I could see if we was at uh, a steakhouse, <laughs> Outback, Chili's, <laughs> Cheddar's. <laughs> even, even the seafood place. Somebody at Fleming's. But or... we are, right, we uh, at Wendy's. And you look over and say, you got your, you, you got your money you, for you. You got, you got, you Well, good. I almost walked out of there. Look. Red flag. You was in my car though, so you can't, you know. That doesn't matter. I thought we, at that point we were dating. So it wasn't like we were still in the friend zone. Oh, who was dating there? Stop playing. I thought we was just, uh, I was just taking you out to no, this. No, sir. We were dating. Okay. You know, I didn't learn. I didn't know no other way. I was like, you know, that's how we kind of came up in Chicago. We the love and affection and relationships was like an unwritten thing. Like we didn't have to show it for the person to stay and commit. Mm. You know, we had to show it for them to commit. Like if we're in a relationship, you got it, you got it, you don't, you don't. It's like, you're gonna pay for it, I pay for my, I mean, I learned a lot of that because of past relationships and an emotional detachment that we didn't have. Mm. So I, I'm like, Lord have mercy. I didn't know that was a thing until you made it. I said, oh, it's, this is offensive. <laughs> and this ain't a thing we do. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't know. And that, that is embarrassing. Now that I look back, I wouldn't dare do that. Neither would I. I the sky wouldn't be with somebody that did. Mm-hmm. Like, if he's taking you out, he's covering the meal. Mm-hmm. That was one thing that I did not know. Mm-hmm. And didn't learn until further in my manhood. Like you, you know, I cover the bill. Mm-hmm. Sky knows that, and that's what I expect in her relationships, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. She shouldn't be paying for his meal. Red flag up front. No, he's a no. He's a no. Mm-hmm. She got to pay for his meal. He's a no. You got to pick him up for work. He's a no. <laughs> Mom going to drop him. And he's a no. Mm-hmm. Go and park back in the, on the street. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not giving you money for a car to go pick up a man that should be working and you're not. Now, I get, like, if you're a friend, like, I just want to help my friend out. But if you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. it's a hard pill to swallow when I think that a lot of men, what we should own, that the woman does. And I don't like it. I don't like it. And I think that I had to learn the hard way. Because yeah. you felt some kind of way about that. I did. Indeed, I did. And I didn't know why then, though. I didn't get it. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm a Southern belle. <laughs> so, you know, growing up small town... In Georgia, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I always believed in chivalry. You know, I'm a hopeless yeah. romantic. Yeah. And so the dating yeah. phase was the exciting phase for me. And again, it did not take me years and years to figure out that you were the one for me. And it's like, I think if we pay attention to the red flags, we'll know right off the bat if this person is God sent or not. And, yeah. when, and when he or she is, you'll know it. You know, because it'll be what you prayed for and not just what you prayed for, but what you need at that time. And at that time in my life, you were exactly what I needed. But you didn't pray for me, though. No, not necessarily. But I prayed for you. Mm. And I want to say something right there. Mm -hmm. When the man owns where he wants to be in life Mm -hmm. and in relationship, I will you will find ourselves with structure beyond our imaginable beliefs. Mm-hmm. Like God will order a man step because he found the man. The man was first. He governed, gave man governing authority, management of the garden. Do yeah. what you need to do in the garden as a man. Yeah. He gave us that. 